Christian life is about experience. It's not about the information. So when we always look at the information, at the main source of the Christian life, we are wronged. And that's why it's important to see that the information is just a start, it's just the beginning. And then we need to have that information to be transformed into knowledge. And the knowledge and the information is a big difference. The information is very limited, but the knowledge is the experience. It's like the taste of water. You can understand and feel and experience the taste of water, but you cannot write it. And that's why Christian life is this experience of living with being in Christ. And that's why we need to have the information about Christ being transformed to knowledge of Christ. But the knowledge, when it matures, it becomes a vision. And the vision needs to be incarnated because we cannot keep the vision up it's just in the air. Nobody could see the vision without having it incarnated on actions. And that's why information needs to be transformed to knowledge. Knowledge needs to be matured and then it becomes vision. The vision needs to incarnate in good actions. And actions is forming a sort of an impact on a society, an impact on your own personal self, and that's an experience. And then it is told as information. And that's why that cycle that we live in, it's important to live it in our own personal life. And now the question would be, are you living the Christian life that you have based on information about Christ? Or do you have personal experience with him? Do you feel him? You live with him? And that means that whenever we are alive in Christ, that means that we are having very personal experience with Christ himself. Now the story is, where are you now? Do you feel or do you know? Do you have the vision of Christ in your life? And then you are living as the life of Christ, imitating Christ in, our, in your own personal life. So my message for you today would be that transform your information about Christ into knowledge. Then let it mature to be a vision of Christ. May God bless you.